okay this bad boy is the Arduino Uno this is what I got for my Christmas and I've been messing around with it basically programming my Arduino to do a few fun things and what I did here was I attached a photo resistor which you can see just over there next to the LED light so that's the photo resistor here and that's the LED the LED light you can see and here I have the LED connected to a digital input and the photo resistor is connected via the green cable going to the analog input so the analog basically takes real world, real world signals and into some sort of sensor and converting that into a digital signal so we can communicate with computers okay here a resistor going from the ground and onto the the pins of the, the photo resistor and the same here a resistor for the LED as well okay that, that yellow cable as I said before is going to digital so that's actually communicating to the well taking a current from the computer from the code I've written and the black is the ground the red is the power coming from here so the Arduino is a nice piece of kit uh, and I've been playing around with it a lot I really enjoy it okay so I'm gonna demonstrate to you what I actually did so here you can see the LED and you can see the photoresistor so now just put my oh I need to connect that okay so as I put my finger just over the photoresistor cover it and the light goes on I remove my finger the light goes off so depending on how much light it has going to it if you can notice flashes sometimes it's because I just have my hand hovering over it if I cover it completely it just stays on like that so you can look at that okay. as a real real application of just having something automatically turn a light on or you can probably expand it to have it dimmer screen or something similar to that so what the, the photo resistor basically does is it uh, I wrote a piece of code to check the resistance going from the res photo resistor and actually does some clever uh, calculations and converts that analog input turns it into digital which enables the light to go on so it's a basically a zero and a one a switch I'll share what the code looks like so you can have a better understanding that's what my code looks like okay and I'll open the so here I declared my, my, my made my constant declarations and then the setup stroke okay I'll show you now the serial monitor what's actually happening in real time it's going really really fast but I'll stop it in a minute See the values will change okay I'll show you what happens there okay see here where it's saying it's getting dark that's 18 it's getting dark and if we look at where I covered it I'll just try to find that 
Okay, here. Where it says it's really dark in here. That's when it actually, the light actually goes on. When it gets dark. And all along here, it's getting dark. It actually just stays off. Because it has no need to turn on at that point. It's bright enough. Okay, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll be posting a few more videos in the future. And have a happy new year.